When it comes to the climate crisis, and especially extreme weather and storms, farmers along the western seaboard are dealing with it first and foremost. Down here in Dingle in Kerry, they're finding a way to tackle the climate crisis in a hyper-localised regional way. The Dingle Peninsula, which is 48 kilometres long, is the most westerly point on mainland Ireland. Farmers here have long dealt with difficult weather, but climate change is making it altogether more challenging. Siobhan Prendergast farms sheep on the peninsula with her husband and family. To what extent have you felt the impact of the climate crisis and the extreme weather? In the last decade or 15 years even, it's the intensity of the weather that's very noticeable. When the rain comes, you get deluges of rain. When the wind comes, we're getting such intense storm that how to protect ourselves is becoming more and more problematic. There's definitely a huge amount of erosion. Here, a lot of this land in my, my father and mother-in-law's time would have been farmed. There was a road running along by the fence. I mean, that's extraordinary, yeah. Quite often we have to go and rescue lambs that have gone down the cliff because you just don't realise how much erosion is going on underneath. This is getting worse and worse annually. How are we going to protect ourselves in another five or 10 years time? What sort of weather are we going to be having? Because they're now dealing with extreme weather events, farmers here like Siobhan have looked at how they can reduce their emissions. Definitely with climate change, we're really having to rethink. We've done a number of things in the farm. We've actually reduced our stocking levels by over 30%. And what we're trying to do is low intensity farming. So it means that we have less fertilizer, less feed, there's less tractor use. And we have found that what we need to do is have more value per animal. So we've moved into Belclare sheep, who are a very prolific breed. So it means the value for each animal that we have is much greater than it would have been. It's more than 50%, it's probably more like 60% greater per animal than what we would have had with the hill sheep. Siobhan is one of over 100 farmers who are involved in a community workspace called the Dingle Hub. It's helping farmers to improve the environmental sustainability of their businesses. When you look at climate change, you can look at the big picture and go, well, what am I going to do? I'm only one small little person. But we're, what we're trying to do here in the peninsula is look at it locally so that we can work together to try and do something for our particular area and for the different things that we're dealing with here. We can share our resources, share our knowledge is very important, and we can, we can do things. We're setting a lot of trees, and we continue to do that into the future, and we've got a 10-year plan for that. So we continue to work with, farmers are resilient, we'll keep going. Dinny Galvin is a dairy and sheep farmer on the southern side of the peninsula. He's noticed how the climate and biodiversity crises have changed things. How long have you been farming here? I've been farming since 87. I was 16, my dad passed away at the time, so all of a sudden I took over, you know. Yeah, it's very young to start. A young age, yeah, yeah, yeah indeed, yeah. yeah. There was about 30 years right. and uh, eight dairy cows. Eight? Eight yeah. dairy cows, yeah. Uh, a wheelbarrow on a pike and a shovel, and that was it. Different times? Different times, mm. indeed, yeah. And how many animals do you have now? 60 dairy cows are right now. There's almost 100 animals on the farm, about 150 sheep as well. Mm. And when it comes to the nature crisis, the climate crisis, in that same period, how do you feel things have changed? Yeah, there's definitely climate change. We, I can see that. Uh, we see wild roses budding out in October. It just got so wet and so mild in October. We see swans coming onto the farm, which I've never seen in my youth. This far west to see swans like is, is very unusual. And the bees, the bees would be the big thing with me. You'd see wild bees hanging from the eaves of the houses and that. I haven't seen that in the most of 20 years now. And what about the extremity of weather? It's unbelievable, yeah. We've seen quite extremes. 12 and 13, we've seen the wettest summers we've ever seen. Mm to the point that you couldn't even cut the silage, you know, for the animals for the winter. Mm. So things are changing, definitely changing. When he's not farming, Dinny works at the Dingle Hub as their energy and agricultural liaison officer. He's working with farmers here to help them become more energy efficient. I have an app on my phone. I can see exactly what it's costing me to milk the cows, heat the water, do everything on the farm. And one of the studies uh, was a survey of 100 dairy farmers. 
and we found we were uh, using a million euros worth of ag diesel in a 12-month period. That was frightening, so that is helping us look at AD, anaerobic digestion, where we could convert grass and slurry with more so slurry for uh, fuel. A critical role of the Dingle Hub is to support farmers here to design their own ways to deal with the impacts of climate change. If you lose the connection the farmers have with food producing and the land, it's, it's not as simple as put on a pair of wellies and go out and I'm going to be a mountain sheep farmer and I'm going to be a dairy farmer. It's, things need to be handed from, from generation to generation. You're learning forever. I don't know it all. I'm 37 years at it. The Dingle Hub is based in Dingle Town, and it's a place where farmers can meet and discuss projects. An initiative they're currently running is an EU-funded technology project that uses data to understand the changing weather. They're also looking at how farmers can explore agri-tourism opportunities. Deirdre de Valiche is the manager of the Hub. What kind of projects have you run with the farmers here in the peninsula? So we're taking a look at uh, weather stations on 30 farms. It's an EU project called the Plutus Project, and that's brought together farmers to see how they can make decisions based on uh, data coming from, from sensors. But it's also looking at exploring diversification opportunities. How do we share or increase the value of that produce on the peninsula? And looking at farming in a sustainable way and an economically viable way. The hub has reached out to the farming community and if we can progress the area and progress the food, it's all helping us make better decisions. There is also an urgency about the action, isn't there? It can't take too long because we just don't have the time. Oh, absolutely. But I think where the addition of the hub comes in, it means that we can move faster, we can move quicker, we move together. And it's also opening our eyes to what we can do and what will work for us locally. And I think that's where the key is, that we can actually make a huge difference by working together in our small local area, using what we have here and the hub as our focal point.